So Ice Cube is claiming the victory title of having the best diss track, No Vaseline, versus Tupac's Hit Him Up and Nas's either. Ice Cube was interviewing with DJ Who Kid when he was asked about Tupac's Hit Him Up being ranked number one for the number one diss track and Nas being number two with Ether and him being third on the list with No Vaseline. And this is what he had to say. How's Tupac number one when he needed help on that record? No Vaseline, <laughs> one MC. You would have used I took two? out who? Ether, Nas. Nah, man. <laughs> I love Nas, but it's not. Me. Took out four, Dolo. four niggas and the manager. Wow. I mean, damn. <laughs> you got to give me credit for that. Group was over. <laughs> I don't know if they made another record after that. So, uh, <laughs> nah, man. Sorry. Now, for me, I'm going to have to go with Cube. He's right. He went at the whole crew, the manager, everybody. And I remember thinking like, wow, he really just bodied all of them. At this time, this was in retaliation for NWA's 100 Miles and Running, as well as Real Niggas and Message to BA. But I know for sure when 100 Miles and Running came out, everybody was like, oh yeah, they got Cube on that. They got that. But when you heard that intro to No Vaseline, you just knew it was time to get hype. God damn, I'm glad y'all set it off. Used to be hard, now you just went and saw Cube was bodying them one by one. This is when you have that stink face and be bobbing your head all crazy when listening to it. I saw it coming, that's why I went solo. Now, Ether is another one of my favorites. In fact, I remember where I was in December 2000 when I first heard the song. This will be on every last one of my classics. I was sitting in a driveway and they were playing it on the radio and it was censored like crazy. So you kept hearing the words beeped out, but you could still tell that Nas was going on and going off and left no crumbs, especially when it was like, Jay's getting clapped up quick and all that so and I remember at the time it was you know it was really personal because Nas's mother had recently passed away from cancer um when Jay had came up came out with takeover and Nas didn't respond for a while you could tell that he was probably like getting himself together and grieving and all that and then when he came he just came for the jugular now as far as hit him up i would say that that's a close second to cubes and it speaks for himself tupac just did everybody dirty on that including faith now, the prison pistols in the air. <laughs> Biggie, remember when I... now here's what some people's opinions are on it But anyhow, I want to know what y'all think. Hit me up in the comments and let me know what your opinion is on this. Who do you think got that number one spot out of these three? Or do you think it's someone else? As always, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Peace.